Hi everyone, I'm Reka Mutaraj and this is part of our Turn the Page campaign where we get to read you a bedtime story. I have two helpers. Yay. This is Lara and this is Lakshmi. <laughs> and we are reading a book about what? Dinosaurs? Dinosaur. Yeah, some dinosaur friends. So I'm really excited to read this to you. It is in the Dino Buddies series by Aunt Ebes and Sprout. And the book is called But It's the Truth. So I hope you enjoy it. All right, shall we start reading? Yeah. Let's see. Here we go. Stanley silently stared out the window at the streaming showers. It's such a rainy day and we can't go outside to play. As he continued to gaze out the window, the other dino buddies sat on the couch and sighed. They were bored and wanted something to do on this wet and windy day. That happens sometimes, right? When it's too rainy outside? And it's raining. Well, let's see what they do. Suddenly, Stanley spun around and said, I know, let's play hide and seek. I'll be it, and while I count to 20, everyone else can find a place to hide, and I promise not to sneak a peek. But before anyone could hide, Lissy quickly pointed and shouted, Hey, he's peeking. Who, me? Stanley questioned. I told you I would not peek, and that's the truth. Casey knew who Lissy was talking about and said, No, she sees Ruffy, the dino bully. He's peeking in the window. Ruffy had dodged the raindrops and was sitting on the porch to stay dry. Even if he's a bully, I think they should let him in. Yeah, I think so. Well, let's see. Although Ruffy was one of the not-so-very-nice neighbors, the dino buddy still felt sad for him sitting alone. They decided to invite Ruffy inside, so Stanley opened the front door and let him in. Even though they warmly welcomed him in, Ruffy was surprised that the Dino Buddies were so friendly. Stanley told Ruffy that they were about to play a game of hide and seek. You're welcome to play, Stanley said, but you must be nice. So even though he's a bully and he's outside in the rain, they let him in. They still let him in. That's right, Lara. All right. That's nicer. That is nice. That's that's the nice thing to do, right? Yeah. Even if someone is always bully, mm -hmm. they always let them in. Stanley closed his eyes and started counting. One, two, much more counting to do. Three, four, I hear footsteps on the floor. Five, six, I wonder which hiding place Ruffy picks. Seven, eight, they better hide before it's too late. Nine, ten, Stanley continued counting in the den. While Stanley counted, everyone scampered to hide. Someone hid behind the curtain. Who it was, they were not certain. Who hid behind the door? No one was quite sure. They hurried as they scurried, and they scurried as they hurried. They hustled as they bustled, and they bustled as they hustled. That kind of makes no sense. Well, it does when you're playing hide and seek, right? You gotta run, run, run to the spot and get in your yeah, hiding spot they, quickly. They, they were, just them up. Ty Bob slipped between the cushions of the couch. Although it was a little lumpy, he was sure no one would ever find him. Meanwhile, Trey wiggled to, the neat, to neatly tuck himself under the round table. Rolo hid behind the yellow raincoat that hung on the hook. He giggled as he thought about how he had found the best hiding spot ever. Lissy hid in the coat cubby with him. She covered her eyes and chirped, You can't see me! You can't see me! All right. Ruffy did not waste any time finding a hiding spot. Baxter watched as Ruffy slid underneath the table that had the lamp on it. As Ruffy settled himself under the cozy covering, he quickly realized that he was not alone. There beside him was Stormy, the neighborhood kitty. Ruffy was worried that Stormy would give away his special hiding spot. He softly said, shh, but knew that he had to find a new place to hide. Uh -oh. Right? That's probably not a good place to hide. You should have known. By now, Stanley was almost finished counting. 18, 19, 20, ready or not, here I come. He opened his eyes and began his search. 
Stanley tiptoed through the house, behind the table and under the sink. Where are they hiding, do you think? He could not find anyone. Then he heard footsteps in the other room. Stanley quickly ran to see who it was. Maybe who, who do you think it was? Maybe. Might be Ruffy. <gasps> oh no! There was a flash and a crash, then a shake and a break. As Baxter watched Ruffy run past him, he tried to figure out what was going on. All the commotion brought the game to a halt. The Dino Buddies came out of their hiding spots and gathered around to discover what was at fault. Then there was silence. Not a word was spoken, as they could now see that the lamp was broken. Who did it, they all wondered. Casey told the other Dino Buddies that Baxter also said he saw Ruffy hide under the table. Ruffy shrugged his shoulders and said, but I didn't do it, and that's the truth. He really did do it. Well, let's see. We don't know. Wait, I don't know, actually. Wait a minute, Stanley exclaimed. Although some of you might think that Ruffy was the one to blame, I can tell you that he was not the one who broke the lamp. Ruffy was way over there when the lamp fell way over here. I saw what happened and have to tell the truth. I heard footsteps and went to look in the other room. Lightning struck and made a big boom. It scared everybody, including Stormy. When she got scared, her claws dug into the tablecloth and pulled the tablecloth down. And that's how the lamp fell to the ground. So who was that tall little cat? It was the cat. Remember the cat, Stormy? Oh, yeah. As Patches cleaned up the broken pieces, Stanley stated, it's always best to find out the facts. I agree, Baxter said. I saw Ruffy hide under the table, and then I saw him running away. But I have to be honest and say that I did not see him break the lamp. That's right, Stanley explained. We have to be fair and listen to all the facts. The dino bullies may have done some things in the past that were not so very nice, but that doesn't mean they are to blame for everything that goes wrong. We can all change for the better. Ruffy nodded and understood. What started as a rainy day turned out to be an unusual day of indoor play. They gathered together in a circle of friends and Stormy purred and pawed while they shared their feelings about the surprises of the day. Ruffy realized that being good was not so bad and actually fun. He was happy that the dino bunnies knew he did nothing wrong. They huddled around to pet and comfort Stormy. Last page, guys. As the rain stopped and the sun peeked through the clouds, a, rain arch, a rainbow arched across the clear blue sky. Stanley breathed the fresh air and said with a smile, everything just seems right when you tell the truth. The end. That was But It's the Truth. It's part of the Dino Buddies series by Aunt Ebes and Sprout. Did you guys like the story? Yeah. Yay. I, I thought like that was a great story. I like the last page with the rainbow. You like the last page with the rainbow? What, did, what was your favorite part? I When they played hide and seek in the lamp. And the lamp broke. You liked that part? Well, they worked together. They found out the truth. And they were all nice to each other. So that was a great book. Thank you so much for watching. And now Ruffy the Bully is not a bully anymore. Ruffy the Bully is not considered a bully anymore. That's right. That's a good point. Thank you, Lakshmi. Thank you, Laura. Um, if you guys want to know more about our Turn the Page on a Literacy campaign, you can go to khou.com slash turn the page. Also, um, don't forget you can donate books tomorrow. Um, we have a list of locations on khou.com. Yes, <laughs> we have a list of locations located on khou.com slash turn the page. And of course, you can come here to our studio at 5718 Westheimer. We've got a big box in the lobby, so we'll take donations tomorrow from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. So you have a long time to do that. Someone's doing bunny ears to me. And finally, hey, we want to see your pictures of you reading to your kids, reading yourself. Yeah, you can put them on social media, and the hashtag is K-H-O-U reads. So thank you so much for joining us. Yay. I've got someone hiding down here. I've got one up here. Have a good night. It's time for all of us to go to bed. See you later.